Hey everybody, Skid Row Trash here, and this is Slipstream. It's a game by Ansdor, and it came out uh, May 21st, 2018. I got a copy of this through the um, Sentinels of the Store Steam group. And it's a racing game, sort of like the old school Outrun, Outrunners. A little bit like Cruising USA, all those sort of old school racing games from back in the day. Um, I played it for a little bit here. I've gotten a couple different wins. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot better at this. When I first started out playing this, I was really bad at it, uh, and I, I was really, I couldn't get the turns right until I eventually figured it out. But after figuring it out, I noticed there's a tutorial here, and the tutorial tells you everything. So I would definitely recommend using the tutorial if you're going through this game. But anyways, look at this thing. It looks like a Sega CD game. It even sounds kind of like one. Like that era. I freaking love it. But anyways, um, let's jump into a match here. There's all kinds of different ways to play in this game. We're going to jump in with a Grand Tour because it's the kind of gameplay you're probably most familiar with on these type of games. You can go regular and reverse. we got the different kinds of cars. You can change their colors too. I don't really know what is a good car to use yet because, I mean, I've been using this one here and this one here. But in, in the different modes, you can actually upgrade your car, so... I'm going to just go with, like, you know what, why not just go with this one? Why not? Let's do it. And you can go easy, but you don't get achievements. So I've been playing medium, so I've been trying to learn how to be better at it. Because the turning, you have to do slide corners on the turns. you got to drift. If you don't drift, you're not going to win. So this is the uh, the style where you have the timer. It's up at the top right, that little countdown number. We're on stage one. So it's just going to keep counting down as we go along, and it'll switch up. When you get past uh, little points there, you'll gain more time back. There's Richard! We're gonna see if we can pass Richard. So when I was first playing this, I didn't even see any other cars when I was racing. I was so bad that I couldn't catch up to even the guy in last place. Or second last. I was in last place. But see how I'm doing these slide corners? That's so awesome. You gotta tap brake very smoothly. Tap brake and then re-tap gas. All in very smooth motion and you get these awesome slide corner turns. Otherwise you'll crash into the side like that. And you can get Slipstream. Uh oh, here we go. See? There. That was a bad turn. Oh! See, I'm passing behind these guys. See, I got Slipstream, so I go super fast for a bit. So on this type of a mode, I have to pass one rival in each section. Look at this! I win! I win! And you choose the side of the road. We're going to go to Resort Islands. I've never been to the Resort Islands yet. I always go the other way, so we'll check this out. I should have a rival along this side, too. Time extended! Look how fast I'm going. There's my guy. It's Dan Camaro. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, the, um, the racing is very good on this. It's the kind of a game where you really have to learn the tracks in order to get, like, a perfect run. Because stuff will come up, and you won't really be able to react perfectly every time on the first shot. So, I mean... It's the kind of game where you're, the kind of racing game where the more you play it, you're definitely going to start out pretty rough and you'll get way better as you play it. But it's fun. It's got really nice music. It's a fun game. Looks like the guy's driving on the wave over there. <laughs> I'm probably not going to win this section, but I've never played this section before. My first time in here. I don't know what the turns are like yet or anything. Eat my dust, poser, says Dan Camaro as he speeds away. Let's check out the chemical plant. I haven't been there either. Time extended. Slipstream. All right. Hey, there's my guy. It's the Baz. Oh, shit. Get me out of there. Give me some of that slipstream. There we go. Gotta get that slipstream to give you the extra boosts you need. Oh, shit. Especially after stuff like that. It's very cool, though. The other game modes are pretty neat, too. It's not just time trial like you get in all these games you get like you always get time trial reverse whatever but you actually have other game modes that are pretty different I'll show you in a second here oh we got some slipstream I don't know if I'm gonna beat this guy though he's probably gonna pound me again I've never played this this uh, map or this this track yet ah oh. oh wait am I gonna pass him no I'm right near the end I bounced over him! Oh, and then he beat me! What a dick! What a dick! 
I hate that guy. But you know, maybe I need a different car. I usually go with this one, but it's average everywhere. I'm getting better at the turning, so maybe if I got something that's, uh, when I get better at the turning, something with a higher end speed, that might be the best idea. Here's Camilla. She's sleeping behind the wheel, apparently, and she's mad because we woke her up from her nap. Fucking love this music, though. Very nice music. Oh my god, this, this track. It's killing me. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna pass Camilla. I think she's gonna beat me. Damn you, Camilla. This is not fair. Damn you, Camilla! Neon the City, let's check that out. But yeah, if you like these kind of games, like the old school uh, Outrun or Outrunners or be like Cruising USA or Cruising World or any of the other games that were similar to this style of a game. This definitely feels like another one of those games, definitely. Looks like one, plays like one. So, there's another one. Oh boy, there's a split. I always get caught in that split thing. Oh man, that's tight. That's tight! <laughs> there's local co-op as well. I didn't get a chance to do any local co-op or anything like that. Or local racing, rather. I don't think it's cooperative racing. But you can play locally, split screen. Which is awesome. I haven't had a chance to try that because I don't have another player. But I think I'm going to beat this lady here on her own racetrack. Looking good so far. Yes! Look at that. Look at that. I got two wins. We X'd off two of those people. Three losses, though. But what can you do, really, right? Very nice. I love the style of this. It, it looks so much like all the old games back in the day. The, the music sounds like it matches it perfectly. The sound effects and the music. Let's check out multiplayer. So multiplayer, we got Cannonball Run, Single Raids, Grand Prix, and Battle Royal. So let's throw on uh, Grand... Uh, let's throw on Battle Royal. Everything's got Battle Royal these days. Let's do a Battle Royal. And we'll try this card this time, the Aurora. So I think the Battle Royal is kind of like a last man standing match where whoever's in the back gets cut off. I don't know if it's like time-based or track-based or if there's like some sort of a wall coming up behind us. I'm not really sure about that. I also don't know how to start off as fast as these guys. I don't know if that's a thing that you can do, or if, if they just start off faster than you, just how that's how it is, or if they're doing something I don't know how to do, or what. Oh yeah, see you later, buddy. Oh no. <laughs> Every time I do good, I crash. I don't know if there's a way to look behind me or not. I, I wish there was, I don't know if there is or not. I got a little radar in the lower left there. I'm the pink square in the middle. I don't know if anyone else is going to show up on that or not. Maybe if they're behind you, you'll see it. Come on, give me that slipstream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's your little mini map. You'll see a little blue square behind you if they're coming up on you. Not the best, but I mean, whatever. Would have been nice to have a little bit better of a mini map. Or not a mini map, or rather some sort of a way of knowing where, you're, where the characters are behind you. That would be all right. Fuck off, lady. And you don't lose any speed, even accelerate on turns when you're doing that drift. So you have to do the drift. If you don't, you won't make these turns. You'll just grind into the walls and die. There's, who's that guy up there? Looks like fucking Thor or Zeus or somebody. We'll just leave them in the dust. 15 cars remain. Third stage. It's getting pretty hard here. I'm in 11th place. 14 cars left. Someone just got axed out, it looks like. Yep. Oh, no. Sorry, Judas Avalon. I'm going to pass the shit out of you. Up to 9th place here. Doing all right. Oh, never mind. <laughs> here she comes again. Damn it. We're down to 13 cars, though. I'm racing up a storm. I'm really just enjoying the look of the game and the music and just 
Just cruising along here. It's very enjoyable. Once you learn the uh, slide corners. Until then, though, you're going to have a hell of a time. It's easy. It's just tap, break, release gas. You tap the brake, and then you slam it back on the gas again while turning, and you're good. I kind of like this Battle Royal mode, too, to be honest. It's pretty nice. There's a lot of space to catch up and to, uh, to get to the next section. I made it to the fifth stage. Doing pretty good here, I think. We're coming up on Tofu Boy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at all the sphinxes. They're kicking the shit out of me. <laughs> Who's past like a billion sphinxes? I really love the looks of the cars on this, though. The pixel art is very nice. Everything looks so nice on this. It's like if, like if you got this on Sega CD back in the day, this would probably be one of the nicest Sega CD games out there. It looks so nice and crisp and clear. Oh, I'm coming up on some other guy. Who is this, Johnny Cage? Coming up on Johnny Cage here. Ninth place. I'm, I'm catching up, but I mean, I need to do better or I'm going to get cut out. Coming up on some kind of cyborg racer here. Oh no. <laughs> See you later, cyborg asshole. I'm in sixth place. Doing so awesome. Ooh, coming up on a mountain. Some of these stages I'm just seeing for the first time now because it's going through them all here on this battle royal. Whoops. Late on that turn. But yeah, you really got to know that how the, each track kind of goes to get, get an idea of what's going to come up. This one's got nice wide roads. I like that. It's got to nail these turns a little earlier. Oh, shit. See right there, if I would have known earlier, I would have went off to the side and then hit my turn earlier. Ah. Oh. It's got like a triple, triple back and forth there. You really only know about that by practicing the levels, though. There's no way to sort of tell what's coming up ahead or what's behind you. But that's that's okay. The old game is like that. That's just how they were, and that's how this is. So I'm in sixth place, and there's six cars left. This is not looking good for me. I don't know if I'm going to make it much farther than this. I got Elvis up ahead of me there. He's facing pretty good, though. I don't know if I'll catch him in this car. This may be my last chance, too, right here, right along this little strip. Come on, get him, get him. Oh my god, I'm actually coming up on him. Get past this fucker. Yeah, see you later, Elvis, you jerk. <laughs> Who's next? You're going to make me eat dust next time? Oh, okay. If you say so. Sure, buddy. <laughs> who's, who's next? I can't even see anybody. I'm in trouble. Well, that's all she wrote. They outraced me. See, I kind of wish there was more of like a, a little bit more of a screen after that or something sort of telling me how I did, what the other people did, how they did, where my leaderboard score is and stuff on that. So it's a bit lacking in that area. There's not enough sort of fanfare after the match. Let's try out another one here. Grand Prix. This one's awesome. Check this out. Going to the Ruby Cup. You choose yourself a car. Let's go with this one. Notice they all have the same stats. So here we are inside this thing. We're going to go to the parts shop. And we have 1200 bucks. So we're going to get we're going to get a gearbox and some tires for my new ride. Let's race. Morning City? Sounds good. So this is a mode where you earn money and you buy parts for your car and upgrade your car. Like depending on how you want your car to go, I guess. Oh man, I'm so terrible at, at starting off fast. Oh my god, someone's... I was hoping someone would like crash into me and boost me up. 
<laughs> Not today! There must be a way of starting faster. I just don't know it. My car needs more parts, too. It's a piece of shit. Their cars should be pieces of shit, too, but it almost seems like their cars are, like, still good. I don't know. I was wondering how they're so much faster than me. Are we not all in fair, t fair things here? I'm actually doing pretty good here. Third lap, fourth lap. I got three guys more in front of me. 11th place, this will be 10th. Oh shit! Slipstream! <laughs> I was still in his slipstream while flipping upside down. I like that. See you later, white car. There's a couple more guys in front of me, but not for long. Woo! See you later, assholes. <laughs> and here's the rest of these jerk offs. See you later, jerk offs. <laughs> Man, I'm doing so fucking awesome! I don't know how I'm doing so goddamn good here. Final lap. And these are, what, fourth and third place? I should be able to get a slipstream off of this guy. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe not. Wow, there's second place ahead of me! I'm doing so good. I don't think I'm going to catch up to them, but I'm doing really good here. Maybe I should have put that... Those points into my, like, top speed or something. Give me that slipstream, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Oh, man. Oh, no. Don't tell me I just bumped you into the lead there. Oh, my God! I could have had second. <laughs> oh, see, this is what the kind of, like, a result screen I want from the end of the Battle Royal. Something like this that shows me more than just going to the main menu, right? This is nice. I like this. Look at this. I like this a lot. 3,000 bucks! Get some nice new parts with that. You get a couple engine upgrades and a tire upgrade. There we are. That's pretty cool. You're doing laps around the same track, too. You're not just switching between tracks. How are you guys so fucking fast? How are you doing this? Let's see. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the fucking screen. It's like an old VHS. That's so awesome. I was wondering where you could switch music. It's right here. Oh, that looks so nice. It sounds like you're changing it to cassette tape. I don't know what Cannonball Run is, but it's got Cannonball Run too. I think there's cars on the road or something while you're racing. Anyways, though, this is a really neat game. Really awesome, old-school racing game like Outrun or Outrunners or kind of like the Cruisin' USA games. Very nice. Feels like it's a uh, high-end Sega CD game. And, man, this is really cool. This is really cool. If you like this kind of a thing, check it out. If you don't like this kind of racing game, you're, you're probably not going to like it because you have to get those drifts or you're going to be, like, you're not going to win at all. So you have to be good at, at doing those drifts and, you know, racing and shit. But if you like that kind of a thing, this is awesome. So check it out. Slipstream. It's on Steam. Links below in the description and all that. Anyways, we'll see you later, everybody. Have a good one.